Welcome back to Daily Web Coding. So in today's video, we're going to learn how to deploy your next app and also set up the domain name for it as well. So this is just the boilerplate app from Next.js. So when you create a, ne a new project, you will uh, see this page right here. So we're going to deploy this one. Uh, and so for the deploy platform, I'm going to use Wasel. And because Wasel is really easy for us to use and to deploy uh, any kind of projects. So as our uh, next is built by Wasel, I think it's a good idea to use this one to deploy as well. So you can see I have a lot of projects with this one. So to create a new project, uh, first you can create your account login. I would recommend everyone to use GitHub for this case because it was easy um, and yeah, it was it worked better. Um, so for this one, then we're going to plus a new project right here. You first you can go to the dashboard and then you can go to new projects. And since we connect with login with GitHub's, so you can see we have like a um, list right here. So yep, I'm with my GitHub. So this is the projects that I have. So if you haven't, you, if you can't find your project right here, you can search for it. So let's say my new GitHub repository would be this one, deploys next apps right here. I'm searching this one. If you cannot find this one, uh, because maybe you can go, click on here, it will go to configure uh, with the GitHub apps. So you can come here. So you can see right here, when I'm allowed access, I'm not allowed all my repository. I'm just allowed some sort of repository that I wanted to use. So I don't want to get it to manage all my repository. So let's say I want to select one project to deploy. So I can just say, find it. So let's say deploy next.js right here. Okay, so this is a new project. So I'm gonna hit save this one. So right now it's gonna redirect back. So you can see that this project right here has been added to a cells. And so I can just click import right here. So a couple of things that you can see right here, um, this is just the uh, uh, things that you would probably add, let's say your environment. So if you app require your some environment variable, you can place it right here. This is like the keys and this is the value. And once you do that, you can add right here. And this is like the build option. You wouldn't have to change anything. That's all good. And yeah, I think this is pretty much it. So once you import right here and you can just click deploy and it will target the, our main branch is main right here. So once it deploys, it's gonna take a couple of um, a minutes. I think it's really fast. All right, so right now, as you can see, our site has been deployed and then we can go into dashboard. So right here. All right, you can click here to visit your deployment as well. So as you can see right here, Nextjs generates for us uh, like domain names with the subdomain name of ourselves, as you can see right here, include the SSL as well. So you can customize this one as you wish. So you can go to settings and you can go to the domain name and you can edit right here. So if you just, it's fine with you just to use for cell apps as like a subdomain, you can just, okay, change here to something else you want. And that is fine as well. And also um, for integration, let's say Git right here. So this is gonna be your production branch. So what does it mean? So it means that whenever you uh, go push a new commit to this branch, uh, your cell is gonna be do the automatically build for you and it's gonna to deploy to your domain name. So let's say this is will be your production. So you can see it's label right here as a production. So whenever you push a new commit to your GitHub's on this branch, master, uh, main branch right here, it's gonna trigger a rebuild for the productions. So if you want to change this one, you can change as well. So I'm not, which I'm not gonna do in this one. I'm uh, fine with this one. All right. So um, this is the environment variable that we talked earlier. If you haven't set up it yet, so if your app needed this one, you can just add it right here. Okay. So I think that's pretty much it for the deploys to a cell. The next thing that we wanted to do is we want to add our custom domain names. So right here, I have my domain names. Uh, I bought it from Nameships. So you can use different platform if you want. If you want to follow along, just uh, go ahead and buy one from that uh, Nameship. This one is just $1 with the domain name XYZ. So I have bought this one. And first, after you uh, bought this one, uh, you make sure uh, because I have verified already, some when when you 
make a new purchase it will show you that please verify make sure that you verify your purchase otherwise it's gonna make uh, you a, a refund after some days so make sure to check any alert or something like that so after you bought this one you can go to manage right now and then you can just copy this one first and then you can go to a cells and then you paste this one make sure you delete all the spaces and then you click add and this is what it's recommended just using this one okay just press add so it's gonna take a while all right so right now as you can see uh we haven't set configured this one to our name chip yet so what we can do with this one as you can see uh this is what they recommended to do there's two way but i think you can go with the recommended way so when you have this info go back to your name chips and then go to the advanced dns and from here you can delete all of the existing from this one so next is we are gonna add a new record for it so what type of record is gonna be a record so you can see right here if we go to back here we can see this is the type a record and this is the value of it so you can just copy this one and then you host is going to be at and the value is going to be here and then you can just click save change and then you add a new record one more record is going to be this one right here the c name record so let's go this one let's go to c name you can see c name record and the host is going to be ww and the domain uh, value okay right here uh, value right here and then you can just press save all right so after you're doing this as you can see uh sometime it's gonna take a while and so when it's done when you have something like here you can access but wait until this one to be finished as well it yeah it's gonna take a while before this one to take effects uh, also you can check this one right here we have like a website for dns checker uh, yeah you can come here and then when you can come here you can press your domain name and then to check whether it's uh set okay or not you can press right here so you can see we set up to our domain name and it can be accessible anywhere you can see this is like the domain name checker and if this checks all check it's all good to go okay so right now we are waiting until this one to be okay so it seems that is this one is okay as well it's doing the generate ssl certification it's gonna take a while for this one so make sure that after they finish everything is all loading finish and everything's you can come back later so right now let's actually try it so if i go to this one it might not take effects immediately so as you can see right here so you can maybe wait for a couple of minutes or so but we'll come back for this one all right so after wait for a couple of um, 20 minutes or so right now our domain name is working so right now if you go into this uh, dailywebcoding.xyz uh, you will be able to access this one so yeah i think that pretty much it for this one and hope you like it and don't forget to share with your friends if you have any comment please leave it down below see you guys in the next video peace